YouTube, what's up, man? Back with our two favorite words in the English language, weekend league. This is what we live for, what we die for, what we bleed for, and what we sweat for on the weekends because we need those rewards. At this point, I'm probably about 8-0, 9-0. And, you know, as you got to play weekend league, you got to have a few beers and you got to have a good time. I got the shades on. No one's really come close to beating me yet. I know, I believe this is early in the morning. I'm playing this guy, Bando. Obviously, it's the first time. I don't know who Bando is. So, it's the first game we're going to play. All the games that I play, you can watch live. The Twitch link is below in the description. Make sure you check out some of these games live on Twitch. Also, any offense, defense that you see, the ebook is below. Check out that link at Band Turf. Both the Saints offense and the Detroit Lions defense is up there. And this is the first play of the game. It looks like a little 3-4 odd. I don't know. I haven't played against this type of defense yet. And just ignore this first play because we're going to fire an interception. Spot this good gentleman seven points. Sometimes you do that just for the entertainment value. Makes the game more competitive. And sometimes, I mean, just feel like a good guy. Like, here you go, buddy. You can take your seven points because it just makes it more challenging for me. So, after the first pick, I realized he's pretty much going to run this rush five. Cover two, deep blue to middle of the field. And pretty much guard the entire middle of the field by himself with Shazier. Which is tough because he, this updated Shazier is really fast. And he has Ramsey and Rhodes on the outside. I believe Earl Thomas and Amos is safety. So, plenty of speed. So, what I, I decided to go, I try to get out of wide trips here. I go to, back to the... Um, why out out of tight offset, which I ran a lot last year because it was really good against this type of defense. Cloud flats on the outside, you hit these two drags and just try to get some yards, spin move and get some yards. That's what I went to early in the game. I thought I did a good job, but this, this fellow wasn't bad. He, he was pretty smart defensively. He didn't mix up his coverages enough to make this really hard to play against, but he just forced me to go ahead and dip and dunk there. You see uh, T.Y. Hilton actually getting boxed on a little curl right there. But he definitely made me dimp and dunk and go down the field. We see Gurley right there making some people miss. He plays tight end for me. Throw the little in route there to Tyreek Hill. Like I said, this cover two defense, what it does, and here we see Mike Vick. You got to skirt. Remember this play with Michael Vick. You know he's great to scramble. He's great to keep it moving. He's, he's great for all types of things like that. But you can get greedy with him, but that's how. So now we tied the game back where we're at. And, you know, I got to get another stop. He stopped me once. I do a pick six the first play. That's terrible. So I got to go ahead and get a stop. You see Barry runs and gets him eight, gives him eight yards with Barry. A little level sales there. My man Champ Bailey can't make the tackle. Luckily, he went out of bounds. Barry Sanders killed me this game. Maybe me want to get Barry Sanders. So he showed me a little dot here, a little fake screen wheel. That's pretty much the main play he ran all game. It's crazy that he still runs this. His kid was probably really tough when fake screen wheel was the glitch. Here he's a little playmaker up. I covered that. A lot of pressure going on. Should have been a pick if he was doing that playmaker because Brian Dawkins was sitting right there. Goes the bunch here, and I'm able to cover the slant. Get him to a fourth and long. Hopefully, he punts the ball, give me the ball back, and he does right back where we started. I realize this defense pretty much is just cover two, you know, with two cloud flats on the outside and a deep blue in the middle. So there's no real big plays. He has Diamond Ramsey and Diamond Rhodes on the outside, so they're going to make tackles. They're going to force me to throw the ball to the middle of the field where his user is. This is a lot like what defense was like last year with a deep blue, cover two, Tampa two. And you know, just go ahead. I'm going to just pepper the middle of the field here. You know, I'm going to just make him decide who he wants to cover. I'm blocking the pressure by blocking my running back. If I don't block my running back, I do get a lot of pressure on me. This time I'm able to roll out with Vic, make a big play, probably my biggest play of the game down here to Tyreek Hill. We're going to try to punch this in there. You see, I didn't block my running back, and just Davion Clowney was right at me. But this time I do. And then you hit it to Gurley. Gets his stick there by Rhodes. So Rhodes and Ramsey really just hold down the outside. He allows his, his user and the three deep blues to kind of cover deep plays. And he's got the whole middle. But there we see Tevin Coleman getting in the end zone. Great drive. Two good drives after I do a pick six the first play. You know, a lot of times you'll throw a pick six the first play. And, you mean, you'll put your head down and you'll be upset. But, you know, I, two big drives out of throwing a pick six really just is changed in the tide of this game. He kills me with screen wheel right there when cover two. So, I run cover three every other play. Tries to fit the slant in there. We hit stick him. Got six seconds left. He's going to hit the slant again. But he's going to possession catch it and not get out of bounds. Doesn't get touched. Can't call timeout. The time runs out on him. I'm feeling good. Up seven, nothing out of doing that pick six. And I feel like his offense really is not good. It's just playmaker. 
face cream wheel. I got to stop Barry Sanders. Can't allow him to get off. And I'll be all right. That's pretty much, I'm, I feel good. Nothing crazy going on. The shades are still swollen. I need Pat Pete to pick that off. Just put your hands up and you could have scored a touchdown, Patrick. Face cream wheel again. Nobody's open. We're able to bang hit stick Michael Vick with my man Clowney and Fletcher Cox falls on the ball. I'm in field goal range. Feeling good. Michael Vick can't get away from Clowney there. So if field goal makes this a 10-point game, so I'm cool with a little draw here. And, I mean, I just suck at running the football. Get to a third and long here, and I'm able to dump the ball off to Randy Moss, but that's not it. We're going to dump it back off to Tevin Coleman, pick up the first down on 30 and 11 inside the 10. Risky play, but it just was so open I couldn't help myself. As you see, it was just, oh, man, that was beautiful. A work of art to get, get that first down inside the 20-yard line. They say red zone offense is hard. Now we ain't running plays like that. But here you go. He hits thick, Shazier, hits thick Ricky Williams with Shazier. Blows up Ricky Williams again. I'm on the 8-yard line. I pretty much concede my field goal. Hits thick me again. So what that crazy lateral play allowed me to do, instead of getting more points, it just allowed me to take another minute and 30 seconds off the clock. That's okay. Hopefully it helps me out in the end of this game. Here it is again. Fake screen well with just a playmaker. Boom, Lawrence Taylor diving, tackling Michael Vick. Level sales here. He's actually able to go ahead and dump the ball off. Good play. I, I guarded a deeper route and allowed him to have that one over the middle and cracked Antonio Brown. Barry Sanders finally gets off one time. Fast. Barry Sanders is fast, and he broke a lot of tackles this game. Lawrence Taylor with the crazy dive right there. Thank God he did that, or that was another touchdown. But for some reason, I didn't have a flat zone on this play. He caught me, quick snapped it. So frustrating to get that up. That is the first read of every single trips tight end player is the flat route. So you've got to have a hard flat on the right side pretty much every time or you'll allow easy completions. And right there, now I've forced this pass. I've been putting a streak to Gurley every play, hoping he didn't have a deep blue. In the first play, he didn't have a deep blue. I tried to throw the outside fade. Terrible pick. Let's let him right back in the game. I was just up 10 points. Now he throws a playmaker to Randy Moss. You guys know how much I hate playmaker. Uh, and it's a touchdown. Was up 10 to down four in literally 10 seconds. That, that's how it just happened. But we're all right. Got to regroup. Got to come back down. Throw a dot over here to Tyreek Hill. And he fumbles. So we were up 10. Then we were down four. Now we're pretty much down seven because he's in field goal range. Here we go. What I say about Barry, he's breaking tackles, breaking his own lineman's tackles. I got I to gotta get the ball back. I got to hold him to three here, give myself a chance. So we go Barry putting his foot on the ground, spinning. And here we go with the, uh, I get him to third and one. What I do when he comes out here is, this can go to the two minute warning, but what I do is a veteran move and he allowed to happen. I go off sides with Sean Taylor, one, to give him the first down so he can't run, the, so he can't get to the two minute warning. I think he should have declined there and get to a third and one and then run the ball and keep the clock running that allowed a lot of clock to stop and it also allowed me to give him the first down i gave him the first down so he wouldn't run more clock off honestly and right here he runs level sail there's nobody to throw to he playmakers and sean taylor could have had a pick six but he swats it right there golly sean taylor here we go tubman smith making a big play there so going off sides it slowed down it, it cut down the amount of plays he had to run down the clock each play is 30 seconds in mutt so by giving him the first down, I didn't allow that third and one to be a play where he ran off 30 seconds. And it also stopped the clock before the two-minute warning. If he would have declined it, the clock would have kept running. And if we got to the two-minute warning and third and one, he could have ran, got the first down, took it to 130, and just got into my timeouts a little bit quicker than he did. He didn't even get into my timeouts because he accepted that penalty. So I let the clock run there. I didn't even call one. Got a minute and 20 seconds left, three timeouts. He's in this cover two. I'm feeling good, but he he's holding wide there. That's the only way he drops that interception, holding wide in the middle of the field. But like I said, this defense is really forcing me to throw the ball in the middle of the field, and what's that going to force me to do is waste time, use my timeouts, and just get four, five, six yards down the field. Tough to get a big play in this defense, and that's why I go to the tight offset. Hopefully hit some drags and get out of bounds. That's what I want to do. Because Xavier Rose just brings me down. Actually, that's Ramsey's right there. Brought me down fairly easily. Same thing with Randy Moss over here. Brings me down in bounds. I have to use a timeout. We're down to 30 seconds left. One timeout in the midfield. I feel like I did a lot of time wasting and didn't get a lot of yards. That's what this defense is pretty much designed to do. 
make sure I don't get a lot of yards and force me to throw near the user. This game is probably the most completions I had in Mutt. Once again, the little baby route underneath the T.Y. Hilton. That was nine yards, and I had to use a timeout. I'm at the 43-yard line, 28 seconds, no timeouts. So I need a play to get to the sideline. I know that this corner route will get to the sideline and will get over the cloud flat eventually. But I have to wait, have the pass protection, be able to lead it, and I have to trust it. I have to throw it when it's not open, pretty much. We pick up the blitz, throw it right over top of Ramsey and Randy Moss. Needed that one, Randy. Needed that one, Randy. Fucking hot. Huge play right there. That was exactly what I needed. Give me a chance. And after Randy makes a play like that, tapping his toes in traffic, you got to go back up to him. This is why you have an emote. This is why you pay all the money for Randy Moss to make plays for you. Ah! Fucking chat! So that's what it's about. We go ahead and get down there. Tie the game up. 19 seconds left. I got to think this over. Right. Chat. Face screen will playmaker or level sales. I can guard the playmaker on face screen will. The playmaker is going to kill my life. Like I said, man, I just got to stop the playmaker. So the first play out of the kickoff, I'm going to win man up Y and X. So he cannot playmaker me with one of those guys. I just had to guard the tight end on his slant. I, I've said this a man a million times. I will never lose to the same play over and over and over. You run the same thing, I want to find a way to box it. And that's what's slowly happening to this kid. It slowly gets to the point where he has nowhere to throw the ball. Once again, man up the playmaker guy. He's going to go ahead and, I mean, he has all day. They really nerf sheds. Look at this clowny getting just low bridged. He runs the clock out there with a scramble. Good job getting the overtime. I'm going to go ahead and win the toss. I always pick heads every single time. I don't even think about it. And uh, so I, I win the toss. I mean, his defense is designed to just funnel everything to the middle. And sometimes you have to accept what the defense gives you. You can't try to force a big play. I did one time and do an interception. So just have to keep making him choose who he's going to use her. Here we go. Use her to post. Go ahead and throw this little slant or throw the little baby curl underneath. There we go. Throw the in route there to T.Y. Hilton. Baby, look, 26 completions at this point. That's a ton for a four-minute quarter Madden game. Another one. That's the 27th completion. So it's, what, 27 completions for 200, 260 yards. Ugh, could have been a pick there. Tyreek Hill broke it up. Thank God. His cloud flat plays that, and, and I've rarely seen zones that play that. And I try to put I put a uh, smoke screen here to hold that flat zone down. Can't get my feet in there. That would have been a ridiculous pass. Get to a third and ten. We would just run the same setup every time because he's running the same defense every time. And I know one of these is going to be open. Randy Moss underneath with the curl. I mean, that's what's up. Like, if you're going to run the same defense, I can run the same offense if it's the right play. Get to a fourth and one. Can't punt. Can't kick this field goal. Fourth and one is different than fourth and eight, fourth and six, because I know the flat route will pick up the first down. If he plays cloud flats, I can throw to Gurley. That's pretty much what this whole play is. It's not really about reading the whole field. I know he's in cover two, pretty much because he's ran it every single play. I mean, if you ever want to switch up your, your defense, it could be this play right now. But So that's what I'm reading. I'm pretty much going to dump off the flat route. Or I'm going to throw the 10-yard out route here over here to uh, Tyreek Hill. And it all depends on what Ramsey, his corner, is in. I'm not looking at the whole field. I'm not looking at his use. I'm not looking at anything. I'm looking at that corner on the left side. Drops back eight yards. I'm able to go ahead and hit Ty Gurley underneath. Make the big play. Make a miss. Air truck, pretty much. Get inside the 15. Huge play right there. Just read one player, not the whole field. Next play with Vic, and I told you about Michael Vic earlier. I got greedy. I got greedy. Fight! Lock the fuck up! It don't matter. I get it again! So now we got to lock back up. We did all that. Little dimps and dunks and dunks, and we got to lock back up. He's on his own one-yard line. Hardest spot to stop, or hardest place to pass. He has nothing open the last 10 times he's dropped back. So I want to play straight run defense. It's going to make it hard. He runs fake screen wheel again. No one to throw to. I send a spy, scare him, and he don't. Yeah, and the fucking game like that! End it like that! I get it again! The fuck off my field, man! When you're nuts little, you play little. That's how you end the game. And that's what happens when you put people's back up against the wall. Obviously, I didn't want to because the Vic fumble allowed that. And, you know, not everybody's built for the big moments. And he really shriveled up in the end there. But, like I said, you got to realize what the defense gives you. Overcome a pick six the first play. 
I I had four turnovers that game. That's crazy to even think that that that. I guess I did fumble that much. Vic fumbled, Tyreek Hill fumbled, and we do two picks. But you got to overcome it, man. That fumble could have killed me, would have killed the average player, but just give yourself a chance. Knowing how the game works with the time, going off sides there on that third and one, if you would have declined that, I wouldn't have had the timeouts. Knowing the play to beat Cloud Flash and get out of bounds. Randy Moss coming up with some big catches for me, the reason I won that game. Obviously, this was a fun game to stream, a fun game to watch live. The link for the Twitch is below. Any offense or defense you see here, the link is also below to check that out. Make sure y'all love it. Make sure y'all comment which I think was the biggest play of this game and what allowed me to win the game. We'll go with the Michael Vick fumble. I wanted a hurdle, and sometimes I get in there with a good hurdle, but they gave me a pretty crappy hurdle. You'll see right here. Yeah, bad one. But I got greedy. I wanted to end the game on one play, but I said Michael Vick, well, he giveth, he taketh away.